All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is up? ADS Play 101 here, and welcome back to another episode of The Feels, my reaction series. And today we're going to be taking a look. I don't know why I did not change this. Let me fix that. Let me fix that real quick. There we go. Today we're going to be taking a look at Reyna. She is the second uh, new character being introduced in Tekken 8. Uh, the first being Victor. His trailer came out on November 2nd. And her trailer was released just yesterday. You know, it's the 13th. She came out. She was released on the 12th. Let me try to fix this microphone. Because I do see it peaking. But, uh, yeah. So, with Noctis Luces Kayim, um Excuse me. But with Victor. My guess is that Reyna is going to be either she's going to be like a completely new character or she's going to be a new face with an old playstyle. You know what I mean? For example, Victor was his playstyle was a fusion between Noctis's and uh Kunimitsu's. It, it was kind of like a mix between the both. So, I'm wondering if Reyna kind of has anything like that, you know, it's certain characters that are dead that playstyle is missing characters like Heihachi, uh characters like Big Dusan, um hell even gone. <laughs> you know, I mean like we don't know. So she she's supposed to be like a lightning user, so I don't know, maybe it could be like a, a tail whip she can do with that. I don't know, represent gone or a Roger or something like that. I don't know. But we'll see. We, Let's, let's see what she got. Oh, nice statue. Hey, what the hell was that? Hold up. She dodged. She dodged with it. Okay. They do have some little remnants of, of a Heihachi up in there. I see it. Like that headbutt right there, like, like I've just seen it. That little headbutt right there, that's Heihachi. That's clearly Heihachi. And that's one of her heat activations. There was, some, there was a couple other moves that I'm gonna look back on. That little hind kick of hers is, is unsafe on block. I can tell. I wonder if like her backstory yeah that, she's clearly taken up after Heihachi right, that, was that was fine Wait, that was a counter? Oh, when she gets in that stand, okay. Why do I look like a hot Now I'm wondering what her backstory is. 
Dude, that look like a hot shit in finishing. Like a little bit that kind of look like Heihachi. But if you look at it, like it almost kind of makes a face though. It's almost like this little moon right here is like a third eye. The eyes are right here to the left and the right. And this is kind of like in the middle. Like It's almost making a, a Heihachi like type of face. I don't know, maybe I'm reaching. But... Yeah, she definitely, um, she definitely takes up after Heihachi. Like that's not even like a question. It was like set like that. First off, this little roll kick that she's doing, unsafe as hell. This this little roll kick is gonna get a lot of people in in trouble. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm saying it now. Whatever that kick is supposed to be, but from what, like, like the little dodging and all that, that's cool. Yeah, she definitely got Heihachi influence. Makes her kind of like her own fighting style. She's influenced by the Mishimas. I don't know what the history is between her and Jin. I don't know if she copied Jin kind of like the way Sakura copied Ryu. Or, in, or maybe she has some actual connection to the, to the, to the Mishimas. Because this is definitely... Yeah, like she's a new twist on an old style. That's basically what she is. So th there's some connection between her and the Mishimas. Or maybe just something else. This was dope. But it's it, it's something yeah, that that's that, that's Heihachi. That's Heihachi, oh, that right there is Heihachi. That's Heihachi. And she did like a headbutt move. I will say that. So, I mean... Here's the thing about her, right? She's clearly like taken up after Heihachi. She's clearly taken up after her with her own style and you know with her own way. Like she has her own move set, but she's mixed a she's mixed in there with Heihachi's style. You know, technically in the story Heihachi is dead, so they you know, a lot of people main that guy. So they, that play style had to be represented by somebody. So I guess she's it. But from what I'm seeing, uh, she seems cool enough. I mean, we really won't know how great she is until we get our hands on her and, you know, try to see how much we can pull off with her. You know, I'm one of those people when it comes to characters like that. I, I try to find out how to fight against them defensively rather than how to use them offensively. You know? So, um, I definitely am interested in uh, getting my hands on her and seeing exactly how good or how bad she is. You know, it, it, it's been many characters that, you know, seem like they were good and they turned out to be bad. So, I don't know, but... But yeah, so that was my reaction to Reyna in uh, Tekken 8. Um, seems like she's going to be a new Heihachi. But with that being said, uh, she looks cool. Looks interesting. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Peace. And uh, I'll see you guys next time for another reaction.